Remember how we converted the video in MPEG stream clip? Well, that video's encoding, we're setting the import settings into Final Cut Express exactly as that. So now we import our file. We go to File, Import, go to where we saved it, open it, and then as you can see here, when I play it, it plays completely perfect. Alright, well I'm going to stop here so I don't get sued. Okay, so let's see right here, let's do some cuts. Like, let's say we're editing. Let's do some cuts. I'm going to add some effects, okay? Man, man. Boom, shakalaka. Boom. All right, so let's go to effects. Let's add some fades. But the only effects you can add, and the only ones you you don't have to render with, are the bold effects. The ones that are bold. The ones that are not bold, you render. But I mean, come on. Rendering for an effect that takes five seconds, that's not a lot. So let's see. We add a fade in there. Add a fade in there, fade in there, fade in there, just for fun and for, just to show you guys that this works, let's add a color corrector right here. Oops. Let's change the color correcting. Let's go extreme so you guys can see the actual thing it does. Okay, so if I start playing, you guys can see that the effect will work. Watch. See the fade. There's a fade right here. Damn. Color correction. Damn. Okay, so as you guys can see, this works perfectly fine. You guys do not need Final Cut Pro. I don't see a need for Final Cut Pro. So, yeah. You can do perfectly good with it with this program right here. Final Cut Express, $200, $300, dollars how much it is, instead of paying Two thousand dollars for a pro program. I mean, look what you guys can do. I just showed you basically what the pros know, and what I found out is what the pro. <laughs> I just basically found out their secret. So, yeah. Let's say we want to export now. Okay. So here I'm gonna export the effects I made, just to show you guys. So we add our in and out points by pressing I and O, where, where you want it to start, you press I, and where you want it to end, you press O, and then select select the clip right here, so we can export, and then go to QuickTime Movie, not QuickTime Conversion, click QuickTime Movie, save it as whatever you want. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And save it. You can save it on the desktop. It's gonna be short megabits because it's this long. But if it's two hours, of course it's gonna take longer. See? Look. Saving is okay, but rendering, you don't have to deal with rendering. Okay, so we close out Final Cut Express. Here's our movie right here. As you can see, if I play right now, and you guys can see the effects I added to it. There's a fade. Another fade, color correction right here. Bam guys, see? Works like a charm. And now what you guys need to do is to, if, if you guys make a video 
and you want to add it to add it to um and you guys want to put it on YouTube what you do is we open compressor all these programs are going to be on the side so don't worry we drag our clip right here and we add our droplet I, I have a video of this how to make a droplet and everything how to compress a video and then after this we go over here to the second tab down here and we go to video settings and then we set this to a random number because YouTube YouTube allows only two gigs so we add a number let's say three six five two and that makes it six gigs six gigs that's very big for YouTube and then so let's just add six five two that's one gig uh, I don't know let's add 635 that's alright pretty good and then submit and then wh where this is gonna save the HD file is gonna save where you have the original file so save and then look it's gonna be on the desktop see it's on the desktop so depending on on how long your video is that's how long it's gonna take to convert and then when this is done converting you guys can go ahead and upload to YouTube upload to your channels do as you please so alright guys thanks for watching I hope I've explained everything good leave a comment or whatever you've seen if you've seen anything missing if you want me to do any more tutorials you guys give me some more tips on what to do and yeah I hope this helps somebody and hey yeah, guys thanks for watching rate comment subscribe have a nice week